Good morning and welcome to Judaism Today. Have you ever felt yourself in a morass, almost in a spiritual quicksand, having fallen, facing challenges, life's not going your way, you just feel stuck? Says the great Rebbe Yitzchak of Berdichev, in this week's Parsha, when the Torah describes when you raise the candles, when you raise the flames, that is speaking to a person who has fallen. And what the Torah is teaching us is that when God has put someone in a difficult situation, that not only is a challenge, but it's also an opportunity. That in reality, God puts that person there for a specific reason. And the opportunity that lies there is really the opportunity to raise the sanctity in that situation. So for example, let's say you're, you're, not, where you're not feeling where you're supposed to be spiritually. You haven't you know, done as much chesed as you wanted to do, or you're not as connected, you're not feeling as connected. The perspective that we should have as Jews is that is the exact locus of spirituality that God wants of, of us at that moment. And in that moment, wherever we are, no matter what rung on the ladder we find ourselves on, sometimes we feel very high, but sometimes very low, that exact rung is the challenge that God asks of us and the particular responsibility and job we have as Jews that no one else can do at that moment is to capitalize on the spirituality or raise the flame, so to speak, from wherever that rung is. That is the challenge of life, really. Throughout life, we all have, as Rav Dessler says, ups and downs, excuse me, as Revolva says, ups and downs. Life, if you had to graph it, is not just linear, but it looks more like one of the, um, one of the hospital charts. And it looks like a graph. And our job is no matter what point in the graph we find ourselves in, be it in a peak or in a valley, we have to believe that that is where God wants us at that moment. And our challenge is to raise the spirituality of those sparks, of, those, of that potential at any given moment. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed that episode of Judaism Today. If you did, please make sure to follow us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube or Check into our podcast, wherever podcasts are listened to, and we look forward to hearing from you more.